1917 is the movie to watch in 2020. You have a brother in the 2nd Battalion? Yes, sir. Is he alive? And with your help, I'd like to keep it that way. But they're walking into a trap. Your orders are to deliver a message calling off tomorrow morning's attack. If you don't, we will lose 1,600 men, your brother among them. It's a race against time to complete a treacherous mission. The Great War epic was shot to look like one continuous take, filmed over a series of outdoor locations, which ultimately brought Hollywood to County Durham. So here's the pitch. The character Schofield is frantically trying to get away from the enemy. He's emotionally and physically drained. And just when you think he can't take any more, He's so desperate to get away that he launches himself off this and gets the full force of high force in Upper Teesdale. A mile and a half downstream, the terrifying scramble over the dead bodies of soldiers onto the riverbank was filmed at low force. They managed to turn one of the most stunning landscapes in the northeast into a vision of hell. It really was quite amazing um, because we know how beautiful and tranquil it is all year round um, and to then see the film and see what they've turned it into um, it shows why they've been nominated for so many awards. The 300 strong cast and crew relocated to Stockton to create dramatic river scenes at Tees Barrage. This is the long course where they filmed parts of the shot for 1917. At the moment there's no water in there but we can change that from raging torrent through to the moment now and that's all down to changing the blocks and the flow of water as well. So you created that hellish scene in yeah, that sequence? Yeah, so we move the blocks and things to create the waves and the holes to make it look like the main character George was struggling going through those rapids. Such a huge amount of work going in for over a month's worth of work into about 90 seconds worth of film which is it's quite impressive. But 1917 is such a big film production. We've never had anything at that scale here before. I think it'll increase curiosity. I think people will see the movie, and I think people will know and understand where the movie was made. And I actually think it will provide a, a lasting legacy for bringing other future film companies into the area. The blockbuster is up for 10 Oscars and nine BAFTAs, which means the North East is already basking in its cinematic glory. If you fail, it will be a massacre.